Hi, welcome to Words of Wisdom. So today, we're going to talk about letting go. Have you ever pressed the snooze one too many times and you're just running a little behind? Well, we're going to pretend that today's one of those days. That you press the snooze one too many times. And now you open your eyes and you have to go. You gotta go, you gotta go. So you're running around getting ready and you grab a cup of coffee from the room. And as you're walking down the stairs to get to the car or the bus, you take a sip and the coffee goes everywhere. And you think, oh my goodness, what else could go wrong today? I can't even say what you would say. Razzle, frazzle, razzle, frazzle. And you cannot believe what an awful start to the day it is. And you have you don't have time to go back and get change clothes. So you notice that in your car or in your backpack, you have a hoodie. You throw on the hoodie, you zip up the hoodie, you cover the stain, and you're off. Now you get to where you need to go, whether it be a class or a meeting, and somebody says to you, good morning, how are you? And you go, how am I? And you unzip the hoodie and you show this you stage and you talk about what an awful morning you've had. And it's okay to vent. It is okay to vent once, maybe twice. But that's not really what happens. We tend to vent throughout the day. So you zip up the hoodie and you go through your day and everyone that asks you, how's your day? You go, how's my day? And you unzip the hoodie and you show, this is how my day started. The challenge is that every single time you tell that story, your entire body relives that story. You take it with you. Four hours later, you're meeting someone for lunch and they ask you again, hey, how's your day going? How's my day going? <laughs> One zip the hoodie. This is what my day's like. The challenge is four hours has gone by and you're still carrying the coffee. We take with us what's happened when we need to just let it go. And we don't even stop there. You go for the rest, through the rest of the day, and anyone who asks you, you tell the same story, and every single time you tell it, your entire body relives it, and you get stressed out from that morning thing that happened all over again. And then the end of the day comes, and you get home, and hopefully, if you live with someone they like you enough to ask you how your day was, and you say, how was my day? You unzip the hoodie, you throw it off, and you're like, this is what my day was like. And eight, nine, or 10 hours has gone by, and you're still carrying the coffee. Think about it. Right? Think about the last time you had an argument with somebody. And every single time you tell somebody about that argument, you relive that argument. You refeel that argument. And not only that, it makes the argument even worse. You get more angry, you get more upset. So venting is fine. Venting once, venting twice, telling somebody, I understand that. But there has to be a point where after you vent, you just let it go. When something happens, ask yourself, will this matter at the end of the day? Probably eight times out of 10, it will not. If it'll matter at the end of the day, then will it matter at the end of the week? Or will it matter at the end of the month? Eventually, it will fade. So, when something happens to you, ask yourself, will this matter today? And then remember to put that coffee down. You're in control. You've got this. As you think, so shall it be. Then once and put it down. Thanks. That's a challenge for the day. Just let it go. Have a good day. I hope to see you in another Words of Wisdom. Remember, if you need something, reach out. You're not alone.